Whoa, 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 what's this? There's fan factions out there for Root, and there's even one that's supported by Leader Games. Yes, you heard me right. Today, we're gonna be going over Fangus Khan, otherwise known as the Big Snack. I found Fangus off of this here a Reddit thread on r slash root game about a month ago. This is a guy being like, oh, faction ideas. Whoa, dude, I, I want to I wanna see some more fan faction ideas. I saw a really cool one called the K9 Constabulary. Con Constab- I don't even- whatever, it's a word. First comment, right there. Boom. A Rise of Khan. Pretty well-developed fan faction. There's the BGG thread. Oh, okay. Guess I'm gonna go check that out. <laughs> and right here, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's made by a guy named, uh, Robert Hewitt, I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay, but anyways, yeah, so he's from uh, Brooklyn Game Labs. Don't, don't, don't know what the deal is as for why, you know, he decided to do this, but, you know, nice, he made a fan faction. But the thing that's special about this big ass snake, apparently there's a Kickstarter update. I was not privy to this, where Patrick, he mentions a fan driven expansion. That very same fan driven expansion happens to be the big snake. Uh, me, me and my friends, including uh, the <laughs> root. Fanatic, otherwise it's called Jason. He was like, "Yo, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Wow, I want I want to I want to try it out." And so he printed and played it. He went and three D printed all the all the warriors and, and the big snake, everything we needed. And then the <clears throat> the demonetization virus hit us. So yeah, we haven't been able to actually play with Fangus Khan in the flesh, but we have been able to do it on a tabletop simulator, so dog bless. But before we go further, we gotta take a look at Fangus Khan himself, so we know what the hell it is we're getting ourselves into. Quick little overview for this faction, this dude, I guess. So Fangus Khan, at his core, is a big ass f***ing snake. All right, you just slap down a big fat mini on the board, and that's him. He's kinda like a vagabond, there's this big dude running around, but he, do he does have his own warriors, not not quite like the Vagabond, but we're kind of getting there. His whole gimmick is that he's a big, threatening f***ing snake. You cannot get rid of him, you cannot get rid of these goddamn motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. He's just there. You can attack him all you want, you are never gonna get him off the board, kind of like the Vagabond. Another interesting thing about him is that he cannot ever f***ing attack. What's up with that? What the well, it turns out how he works is he eats on his space at the start of his turn. So basically, you're running around, and no matter where the hell you are, you're gonna be going like, hey, I'm I'm a, I'm a ticking time bomb, you better f*** me up before I f*** you up when it passes back to my turn. When he eats it does not just get removed like a normal piece, he, he literally f eats it. You take the piece and you put it into his mouth. While f is inside him, there will be a number of things that can happen to it, alright? It will either just be pooped out for points, or he can move it into a growth area, which will permanently improve him in some aspect, and the owner of that piece will never be able to get that piece back again. Let's go over like some of his, uh, you know, like basically how, how his turn works. All right, so to start his turn, I'm Birdsong. Uh, I also, by the way, he has these things called eggs. All right, he can lay eggs. She can lay eggs, I should say. <laughs> she can lay eggs, uh, and those eggs are how she gets warriors, and also how she crafts, and also how uh, she, I guess, digests things. Okay, basically. Uh, during your bird song, you hatch all your eggs and digest a bunch of sh so you like progress it on the track based on how many eggs you have out. And if you got beat up, you stand back up, but if you didn't get beat up, this is when you eat. Uh, and then in daylight, when you actually do your actions, uh, you can discard a card from your hand to move, but if you're discarding a card that matches the clearing color that you move into, you lay an egg. That's basically how you're gonna get the majority of your eggs out. You just move around everywhere, plop down a buttload of eggs, okay? Because this is not once per turn, you can move around as much as you want. And then afterwards, you grow yourself, which basically means Hey, if there are pieces inside of you, you can now move them into your growth areas to get better at, you know, biting things or, you know, to eat them. You can get better at drawing cards, etc. Et and then you start crafting using your eggs. And then at the end of your turn, you poop everything out that made it to your bowels for points, and you just draw cards. It's basically Khan. Important thing to note, though, is that if Khan would be removed, instead, Khan just gets flipped over onto its side. And remember, I talked about in Birdsong, Star Birdsong. Yeah, you just stand back up and don't eat. That's how that works, right? You get hit once, you're out. Very fucking easy to counter. That's basically con. I'm gonna get into now why I have uh, kind of so, some 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 problems with this. We we play with con a lot. All right, we really tried to make it work. I wish we tracked it because I didn't know this was here because I didn't even can read this thing fully. I was just really excited to play it. But there was a playtest scorecard here. So if you open this bad boy up, you uh, you get this thing here where you can basically track your game and send the data to Brooklyn Game Lab so that they can improve con. And I really wish I did this because. Oh man, that feels like a lot of wasted data. So yeah, we played a bit, a bunch with the con. All right, and my God, whoever was playing as con normally just got their ass torn up the entire session. Like it was, 
bad. Almost all the games we had with them, that Khan basically was stuck at like five to ten points. Like Khan has like no agency. There's really just no presence. Like what the our opinion right now is that Khan is way oh, hey, too goddamn weak because there's so much that needs to go right in order for Khan to find a success. It's basically just feast or famine. There's no in between. Either you are doing very fucking well and you just gobble up everything and get a shitload of points because by the way if everything goes right for con you can basically get 30 points in like one fucking turn it is ridiculous but that never happened to us because obviously we'd never let that happen all you have to do is just attack him once doesn't do anything all right cool you can't eat Durr. but what happens most of the time is that you don't get to eat enough and you're too slow and it's too easy to stop you because again i just have to tap you once so you give you a little love tap and uh, boom you're out like you just you don't eat anything for it all around so yeah feast or famine very, uh, very fucking frustrating for both sides of the players because it just feels dumb. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, maybe, but you got, you got those eggs, all right? So they, they fucking spawn warriors and you just you move them with Khan so that you don't get your ass beat. Like, that is not enough. If you are playing with basically two military factions in the game, they're not gonna give a shit. They're just gonna run to you and just beat your ass. Like, what? And then it's so hard for you to get your warriors back. Like, all they have to do is fight you like once or twice to like kill all your warriors. And then you have to spend like a long ass time fucking getting them all back again while you're laying eggs, which by the way are fucking defenseless and you're not gonna be able to like spam them on the same spot because you have to, you know, lay them by moving around, which means you're just leaving free points for everyone around. People were just farming Khan. Like it was unreal. The amount of fucking free points Khan just gives to other players by just pooping out eggs everywhere. Like it kind of feels like Khan is extremely reliance on crafting and you might, might see down here on the back of the board it's like bam look at that crafting ability extreme and i guess that's kind of true right because you you could technically move like five times in one turn and just plop eggs on everywhere and for some reason if none of them got beat then sure you, you got an insane amount of crafting pieces now all right but that, that almost never happened okay like sure i guess you could craft a lot of everything goes right but again it goes back to the feast or famine point where it's just like Everything has to go right, and you have, like, almost no saying. It just depends on how nice the other players are feeling. If they, if they don't feel like attacking you for some stupid reason, then, yeah, sure, you you get off pretty well doing your thing. But any a smart player who sees that there's a big f***ing snake on their territory about to eat and they don't get the pieces back, they're going to go, yeah, I'm attacking you. Also, I get points for it because you're probably on some f***ing eggs. So, bye. So basically, just like just, I'm saying, it probably needs to be less extreme with the crafting, I guess, because it, it feels like Khan is so reliant on just having a bajillion crafted cards out, so you just have like a bunch of abilities. And obviously, just another thing about Khan is that like this this thread. All right, if you if you if you go back over to you know the OG thread, so the latest version, Bo, I believe this like was updated in here in like August of last year, like 2019 or something like this. Khan has not been updated for a while. And so I guess it's also like a problem with us playing with new content because we are already pretty familiar with one, the Exiles and Partisans deck, and two, the Underworld expansion, which we've thoroughly played at this point because our friend Jason, thank God, got that back in like January or something. So yeah, we, we have played that quite a bit. My God, the new factions, they destroy Khan. And then in addition to that, the new deck destroys Khan. I also, one of the biggest parts that's pretty bad about the new deck for Khan is that it does not have those two yellow cards, I don't remember the name of them, that are in the base deck that essentially just give you extra actions. Those cards are super important for Khan because they're your only means of being able to actually battle and like move around for free. We don't have that. Or I guess we technically do. There's one card in the new deck where it's a blue card and it crafts for two red and it lets you take one free move, one free action that's mandatory during your daylight. I guess there's that, but that's one card versus like four cards in the previous deck. So... That sucks, but there's another thing that's really sucky. And that's if someone else crafts goddamn any of the partisan cards, which by the way are dirt cheap because they only cost one crafting piece, and they slaughter Khan, all right? It doesn't matter how much of a stock I have. I can sit on a spot with like all eight of my warriors and my big ass snake self on just some random corner playing pretty safe, and the king, the moles can just run in with their like four attacks, and they probably don't need all four of them. They only need like two or three, and just spam partisan, and bam. I have been completely wiped out, three rounds of progress, just all lost, all my warriors gone, they broke my eggs, it's like, okay, yeah, this, this is, this is dumb. And I guess for context, I'd probably explain a little bit as to why their two factions are so good at just completely destroying Khan. So let's start with the, the Underground Duchy. So the Underground Duchy, it's very easy for them to have an excess of actions. If they, if they are playing well, they have their citadels out, and they have a bunch of f***ing, you know, ministers has been swayed, they're gonna have way too many goddamn actions that they know what to do with, right? A lot of times they kind of like don't want to piss people off. So they kind of just normally 
just to defend, defend their buildings, right? Like, that's a pretty reasonable thing to do, because if their buildings get broke, they lose a bunch of shit. But, now with Khan out on the board, they have a huge incentive to just say, well, I mean, I have extra actions anyway, so I might as well just send a couple of them out to break up your eggs and attack you. This gets even worse if they decide to just say, like, oh, yeah, we just we have the partisan card out. Yeah, uh, let's just, like, manipulate our hand real quick to get it to a point where the partisan doesn't really hurt us that much. And, yeah, we're just gonna attack you and literally destroy all of your things, like, in one turn. Super easy, like, no problem. The fact that Khan can never attack, or right, he's in my route, very favorable to attackers. They're just having warriors to defend. That is not enough like they these defenders need extra hits or something because if someone can just run into your place and just just wreck shop that easy it's like something's fucked. okay con literally can never stockpile enough of a defense to be enough for the fucking moles and to some degree also to eerie if they're at a point where they're kind of like mid late levels of their decree and they have like three like fucking cards in battle it's like oh my god jesus christ so yeah that's the moles also the fact that most can literally just go over to kill on the map pretty much all the time that doesn't help either so yeah moles they beat up con very hard and just farm farm cons eggs for point now what, what about the fucking the uh the crows right the corvid conspiracy okay they're also really bad for con because king con does not want to end their turn in a spot that has a plot token like those traps because if the crows ever happen to fucking flip a snare on con they essentially just remove con from the game like if con is stuck in a snare. So you might notice on the growth thing here, it says, oh, you cannot have any duplicate pieces within any one area. If the crow player really wanted and they had managed to just get Khan into a fucking snare, they can straight up just spawn one guy in his clearing over and over again so that he can never fucking eat the plot token, the snare that's trapping him there. And Khan can do nothing except for just keep pooping it out for like either zero or like one point. That is so dumb. All right, that is unbelievable how the fucking crows can single-handedly, like, delete Khan from the game. Because if Khan cannot move, and they're trapped with, like, a shitty bite or something, like, they're fucked. They are absolutely at the whim of the crows, and they have to get real political to tell them, hey, can you can you do something to get this, you know, snare out of here? Because Khan not being able to move, just, it destroys him. So then obviously it's like, okay, well, just don't, don't have that happen, right? Well, it's like, okay, if the crows, the Corvid conspiracy, are put, plopping down plot tokens over. That's a lot of spaces that you're never going to want to move into because you can never proactively attack them or remove them, aside from just doing that uh, thing where you, like, show a card to give it to them to, you know, hey, you guess what that, that token is, right? And if you get it right, then, yeah, you get rid of it, but, 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 you discard cards to move, so... The, the crows basically just leave a bunch of spaces on the board that you just do not want to fuck with. Alright, because the, the risk is way too high. And and this is just like one of the big problems of Khan, is that like, you, just, you basically have like no agency. It is so hard to tangibly impact the fucking board. Like, if I, like Khan might as well have like reached like zero. Alright, like holy shit. You do not affect other people's fucking plans. Like, at all. Aside from them just devoting like two of their actions to attack you for free fucking points, because you know, why wouldn't they, right? You get slowed down and basically get fucking knocked out of the game for a round, and they get free points for just smashing your eggs. Like, okay, that's cool, great. So because of this, there's really only one way to play con that we found was probably the most effective, but still wasn't good enough. And that's, you essentially just circle camp, right? You like, you just find your own isolated little corner and just fucking masturbate with yourself in the corner. You just do not fucking interact with people, just Keep running around, laying eggs, barely eating things, alright, so you can stockpile a bunch of warriors onto yourself, so you can just death bond us onto not even important spaces, like, you would, you need to run in with, like, eight warriors onto, like, a spot that, like, people don't even give a shit about, alright, because if you just do that thing where you, like, have all your guys out and you go into, like, their headquarters you just want to eat everything, they're just gonna beat your ass because attackers have advantage, so, yeah, they've, but they value, like, two or three times and you just fucking lose everything, so that's, as dumb. I was like, can I just say that, like, Khan, is, there's so many things about Khan that is so uninteractive with other players. The fact that you can't battle is already a pretty big fucking deal, but eating things is just, it feels so bad to have your pieces eaten. For a player who's playing against Khan to just permanently lose some warriors, or like if you're the cats, lose some fucking buildings, and they're just stuck in Khan, it's so dumb. It, it just feels awful. It's like, it's, okay, cool, I never get this back. There's, there's like, there's not even like a delay to it. Like, I, there's not even a mechanic where it's like there for a timer or something. It's like, no, it's just, it's just gone from the game forever. Which also leads to some very fucking stupid incentives. So like, for example, the Eerie, they want their roosts to be eaten because that gives them more points. So that's, that, that's really fucking weird. But there, there is still just one thing though. So I still really, really like the idea of Khan. It's like so cool. I tried to redesign him. Okay, I made my own jank, stupid version of Khan that has not done enough testing yet so far. 
In fact, my version is probably even worse than the current one. It's broken. I mean, Zion, Zion is hard. I don't give him, I give him props for that. But yeah, uh, my my basic ideas was I, I wanted him to just have more fucking agency, more interaction with everything that's going on. So the way I did my way, like main redesign, is that Khan can actually fucking fight things. Anything he fights, he also eats. So he's just way more aggressive in general. But then also, whenever people beat up Khan, instead of just laying Khan on their side, they instead just remove pieces from his board so they can get their back. But I mean, that doesn't really work out though because it incentivizes people to attack people to grow. But at the start of the game, you have like nothing. If you're incentivized to attack people with nothing, uh, it's just not going to go well. Like you're basically at a constant equilibrium where you're just constantly losing things and then constantly also gaining things. And you never really get to a point where you actually get to grow. So I don't know how I would fix that. Uh, I can whatever I have my dumb faction board today. I'll probably revisit it sometime in the future But for now, I'm kind of just like, you know, what? I, I give up on con This has been a train wreck in all of our experiences playing with it And hopefully that when leader games get their hands on it because apparently, you know They've been working with the guys behind Fingus con that they can overhaul and get to you know work out just fine because as it is right now It's yeah. Oh my god. This is a swing fest. It's feast or famine and it's not fun and, You know just to get another take in here. We're gonna consult a uh, resident root expert Otherwise known as a root fanatic that I don't know why Ashton calls him that but whatever root fanatic What do you think about Fangus Khan? I do not like Fangus Khan. All right. Thank you root fanatic for your opinion Um. Okay, so basically every time I've played I feel like Fingus just gets stomped on. Maybe it's because of the our group meta. Maybe it's because Fingus Khan was designed badly. Maybe it's because we played with the wrong group of factions. I don't know. Whatever the reason is, Fingus Khan has ended up with 10 points or less every single game I play. With Vagabond, people don't want to hit him because uh, they don't get points. But with Fingus, even though you don't get points, Fingus wrecks you if he has a giant bite and he eats too many of your pieces. Um, the other thing is, if Fingus like has a bunch of eggs out, and they're just lying there it's just free points for people so people just run around hitting all your eggs and eggs are the primary way that fangus gets points and they have to be out there's nothing really preventing people from killing eggs and they can't protect them with warriors really because they're always just uh, on a limited supply of warriors and it's hard for them to keep those warriors out protecting the war uh both fangus himself the con and the eggs fangus con just feels really bad to play as because you always get hit in the beginning and it's not fun to play against because he always feels like a threat and if he's in your space he threatens to eat your pieces so you always want to try to knock him down uh anyways so yeah that, that that's fingus con he's cool i guess if you want to try him out like <clears throat> sure but uh would i recommend it not not really no there's a lot of a lot, a lot of fixing and stuff needs to happen all right maybe i should just be playing con with just base game and just, you know, only really doing the main main four factions, you know, old board, old deck, but it's like, dude, once you go to Underworld and Exiles Power says you, you can't go back. Oh my god, that's so good. Also, I just, I do not like favor of the whatever cards. Those cards, dude, get them out of here. But that's gonna be it for this video of me ranting about Fangus Khan. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you all on the next video. Goodbye.